Hey, 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 everybody, what is going on? Serial Overdrive here, and today I'm playing Entropia Universe. What we're going to be covering today are rings. This is a topic a lot of you guys have asked me about. I've done some research, and I think I'm ready to dive into the task. So let's go into sort of what these things are, how you can use them, and then we're going to check out auction. I'm going to show you just some real-life examples, or real-world examples, not real-life examples, of just what these rings can do. So what are rings? Rings are a clothing item that can be equipped on your left and your right hand. You can equip one ring on each hand, so keep that in mind. Here I've got a ring of my own. I use this one for mining. It increases the run speed, which means I can drop probes more frequently because what matters when you're mining is just the distance between your drops, right? You want like, I think it's 100 meters between each drop. So increasing your run speed means there's uh, less time in between your drops. So this is sort of a, a ring that is specific really to miners or maybe even to people who want to stream because it makes everything go a little bit faster, which is always good. Uh, what this ring does is it increases your run speed by 8%. You can see for garment slot, it is a left-handed ring. And if you look at description and everything like that, it just sort of gives you an overview of what it is. Now, the key thing to note here is this item currently does not deteriorate while equipped, but may have deterioration implemented in the future, or in a future version update. So what this means is that rings are extremely expensive now, but they're going to be extremely subject to change based on just how Mindark decides to implement them later. Currently, the way it works is you equip a ring, and it's going to work no matter what, as long as you've got it equipped, and the only time it's going to decay is when you unequip it and re-equip it. So this is really a huge, huge advantage. It's the only thing really that can affect your stats and not decay. So that is crazy. It really is just what it does. Um, but do note, Mindark knows this could be an issue. And they've even noted in the item information that rings might start decaying. And what you've got to note here, too, is we've got markup on this. You can see the market value of this one is TT plus 17. That's not too bad. That's um, it's a pretty decent price, in my opinion. It's something that it doesn't really bug me, right? Like, it's, it's 30 PEDs. If it helps me just a little bit, it's probably worth it. What we're going to do is what we're going to see on auction are rings that are way more expensive. And if you're looking at buying one of those more expensive rings, always remember that Mindar could change things, right? They could make rings super rare. They could decide that, hey, we're not going to set put these things out anymore. Or they could say, hey, you know what? We gave you guys a warning in the information. If you didn't look at it too bad, these things are going to start devaluing faster. And then all of a sudden, the markup on those things could tank, depending on the efficiency and everything like that. And again, it has had them happen to items in the past. So always keep that in mind, okay? For instance, clothing. Clothing used to be something that you could equip and dequip without ever having a charge to it. So clothing that was full TT would never decay. Currently the way it works is every time I equip and unequip this piece of clothing, it loses value. It decays. That's something that Mindark implemented. And then they could do something with the rings where anytime that stat is into comes into play, they're decaying. Certain rings are going to become worth nothing because people aren't interested in using them and other rings might go up in value because their use case might be a little bit better compared to other rings. You, you never know. You never know. Anyways, let's go to the auctioneer, check out just the various rings that are on the auction, and go over how you can use them. So if you're looking for rings where you're going to want to go, you can either type ring into here. That'll definitely work. Or you want to go to, where is it? I'm looking for miscellaneous items. Yep. You go to handhelds. And then you go to jewelry. And here you're going to see a nice, nice list of rings. Now let's order these things out here. And you can see there's some really expensive ones. So this one is 50,000 PEDs for a Halloween ring. It looks cool, but again, like, I've got one equipped on my avatar. Can you really see it? Like, no. You can't see rings. So there's, there's no real... Uh, He's not even holding the gun right, but there, there's no real advantage, like, looks-wise, if your ring looks cool or not. So don't really take that into consideration. If you look here, you can see this one increases run speed by 13%. It's better than the ring I've got. It's got lifesteal of 1%, which is huge. This is, this is a massive, massive sort of a perk. It's basically free healing. Uh, it's got a reload speed. It increases your reload speed by 6%. It 
I would increase his life steal, steal by 1%. So that still is massive. Um, I don't know if that's going to work on like a life steal at 0%. Originally, I was thinking it would, but it might not. It might not. Uh, I, I don't know how that works. Someone, well, none of you guys probably own this ring, but on the off chance you do, let me know how it works. Um, you can see critical damage that goes up by 13%. And increase critical chance so you can hit critical hits 2% more. This Again, this is huge. This is an amazing ring, especially considering the fact that it doesn't decay. You could take a gun that's at 60% efficiency and just through this, maybe bring it up to like 65, 70% efficiency. That is massive, especially when you consider reload speed means that you can kill those mobs way faster. Lifesteal means you're not going to have to heal as much and like... Really, it just comes together, puts everything together, and makes a ring that's worth 50,000 PEDs or 5,000 USD. Now, one thing to remember is if you're buying something like this, that value could change at any time. If Mindark decides to implement decay, and all of a sudden your ring is just decaying out the wazoo, you're sort of screwed here. You could be putting money in, and just it could, it could all disappear one version update. So don't invest more in these rings than you're prepared to lose, right? Treat these like sort of speculative resources. They're very good to have, they're very good to use, but keep in mind that most likely in the future, they're going to be devalued by just a little bit. That 50,000 PED ring, it's probably not going to be worth like 10 PEDs at any time, but it could be worth 20, 30,000 in five years. You never know. Here you've got another one. This increases load speed, critical chance, and critical damage. These are huge ones. And this is a right-handed ring, note. And this right here is a left-handed ring, okay? So the rings, I haven't really found any sort of method to the madness as far as right and left-handedness goes, but there's there's a lot of both. And honestly, like both of them are just amazing, amazing things. Um, they give you some amazing abilities. So like if you can get a perfect combo going, that's awesome. And here you've got another one, okay? This one's more for evade, and again, critical damage increases it by 24 percentage points. You always make sure, want to make sure it does percentage points, because that means that you can keep these things equipped as you skill up and really just keep on sort of killing it, right? Because when you're doing 100 damage, 20 percentage points is 20 damage. When you're doing 1,000 damage, 20 percentage points is still... 200 damage. So it's still the same amount of increase. So these rings have value to newbies and to higher level players. Also, the more your gun decays and the more your gun sort of uh, just is affected by this, the, the better it is, right? Like the more damage you can do, the better it is almost because it's sort of free stuff. It's free damage. You're going to notice there's some sort of lower level stuff. Like these were all like 2,000, 3,000. We looked at that 50,000 uh, PED ring. You've got some other ones that are like 700. You've got some more reasonable stuff down here in Angelic Ring. These don't look as cool, but they still give you a little bit of health, a little bit of regeneration. That's pretty good. Um, the regeneration and the health, honestly, if these rings, sort of even if their efficiency goes down, as long as they're better than a healing device, these things are still going to have value to them. Um, Angelic Ring improved, like this is another one. Again, you can increase your health by 14 points. Your regeneration goes up by 35%. So if you're a professional healer, honestly, like grab these two rings and that's just a feature, right? Like, this, oh, they're both right-handed. Like just grab one of these healing rings and when you go to heal people, you can say like, here's a ring, your regeneration increases and everything like that. And then just give it back to me at the end. And now you're healing people and you're giving them that bonus of having a ring. Uh, sort of cool there, I think. And even here, like you can see this lower level one, this is one that I might even get, right? 12 health, 12 health and 30% regeneration, awesome. These are unlimited items here. So unlimited versus limited, unlimited items are gonna be good forever. So if at some point Mindark does decide to nerf rings, the L items are gonna slowly die out, right? If they, so one of the things that Mindark tends to do, one of the things they really do like about L is they can release a gun that's super efficient, but they know that, hey, if this gun isn't balanced, it's going to die pretty fast, okay? And I think that's one of the things that they actually like to do. Before they were going to release an un -L or an unlimited version of a gun, they like to release the limited version of it because, hey, if that limited version creates some issues where now people are too eco and it's messing up the loot pool, they just let those guns die out and they're good to go. Whereas if you release an unlimited version of something, that is there for life. 
And the same thing is going to apply here. So no matter what, these rings, whether they make them disappear, whether they drop more, you've always got it for life. And I really do like that about Unlimited. A lot of people sort of notice this about me. So here you've got some that have more of that percentage. These are really good sort of ideas if you're looking for getting you the most bang for your buck right now. Because you can get a ring like this where it has that evade, that dodge, that critical damage. And it's only going to be 53 PEDs, right? Or you can get this ring where you've got sort of your reload speed increasing, your critical chance increasing, your critical damage increasing. And again, you're not paying as much because it's limited. So when or if that value decrease is implemented or that efficiency, sort or that efficiency, that decay is implemented for rings, the value is going to massively go down on these depending on how much they decay. And again, this is, this is all like a mind game. Like you can run through your head a million different scenarios and we can, I'll run through a few here, but the L is really good right now because you can equip it. As long as you don't unequip it, you're always getting that benefit. It's never going to decay. You can buy, the, buy one L, L ring and you can just sit on it for life pretty much as it is. So even if you're new to the game, right, let's say you want to just dip your toes into it. Here you go. If you're a new player, you're dying a little too much, you can get 10 health points and an extra 25% regeneration for a small fee of 14 PEDs. And currently, that's going to last you for pretty much forever. Just don't unequip and equip the ring. Just leave it on. There's no no disadvantage to having it on. So just leave it on and you're good to go. That's the amazing thing about it. Now, of course, once things change, once the decay is implemented, life is going to get more complicated. And here's what I mean by that, okay? So there's two ways this could play out. They implement the decay and all of a sudden, L prices go down. The percent markup goes down. Or... It doesn't, okay? So let's just run through it, okay? A limited item comes out. Now all of a sudden it's decaying. It decays more and more and more. So price is going to go down because people aren't going to be able to equip it once and just sit on it. So something that now is worth 53 PEDs might drop to being worth 20, okay? Because again, it's something that's just going to decay as you use it. And I really don't know how they'd implement this because, for instance, for this run speed ring, right? If they implement that, if all of a sudden my run speed, anytime I run, that costs me money, I'm just going to unequip the ring and I'm never going to use it. The price of that thing could just be worthless, okay? Or, you know, your health ring, maybe you just equip it now for big mobs. But if you get that unlimited version, whatever markup you're paying for using these rings, assuming it's worth it, you're saving that with the unlimited version. So if this markup goes down, right, your unlimited version, sort of the value would go down a little bit. But not too much, because now these rings are decaying more, and it's better to just have the ring and not pay the markup. But if this markup stays the same at 594%, but the unlimited one you can just use flat out, you're saving like 500% every time you go through the 10 PEDs or whatever it is of this ring. And that is a crazy deal to save 500%. That's why some of these unL weapons are worth so much. So this is sort of the, the scenario you've got to play in your head, right? Do you buy a super expensive ring hoping that the efficiency is going to be balanced and it's going to be worth enough that's worth keeping? Because most of these rings are going to match their limited sort of um, their limited matches, right? So like this Athenic ring that's limited is going to match an Athenic ring that is uh, normal. I don't, I don't see any here, but if there if there was a is there. Now, if there was a normal Athenic ring, it's going to match, okay? And the decay is going to match, and everything's going to match. So it's almost better to have that ring in this case, assuming the markup stays up. But Mindar could completely nerf it. It could become something that's just completely uneconomical to use, and then nobody wants to use rings, and all these things go to a markup of a couple hundred PEDs because, you know, even this Halloween ring, right? Even this 50,000 PED ring, people aren't really interested in using anymore. So there's scenarios that you can play out in both ways, right? All this could go to zero. It really could. If Mind Arc releases some horrible thing that it's just like every time you use it, it burns through its whole trade terminal value, no one's going to use it. It's done. That's it. It's over. But if they release something where it's like, yeah, if you have it equipped, it declares like 0.00001% every hour. Now all of a sudden, the guy with the Halloween rings like, hey, I play a ton. Like, I'll just leave this thing equipped, repair it every month. And I'm good. 
And the guy who paid, well, let's say, well, the Halloween ring isn't a good example, but let's say, like, you bought the Athenic ring, right? The adjusted one. You paid 400 extra PEDs for it. This guy who paid, you know, 500% for this ring, let's say they match up. I know they don't. But what's going to happen is, over the months, this guy's going to have that L ring equipped, and he's going to keep equipping it, keep equipping it. It's going to decay. Let's say you're decaying through one a month. You're paying 10 PDs with that unlimited uh, unlimited ring every time you need to heal it, whereas this guy is paying 40. And I said heal, it should be to repair it. This guy's paying 40. So if you do the math, in like two years, the person buying this limited ring has essentially bought an unlimited ring, but they just don't have that ring. They've got to keep buying it and buying it and buying it. And based on how that plays out, the unlimited rings could go up in value, okay? Or again, if Mindark never changes it, if they come out and say, hey, Whatever you get equipped, like we're, we're, there's no decay. There's no decay on this. Now the L prices are going to shoot up. Limited rings are going to be worth tons because you buy one and you have it for life. It's not really limited. It says limited next to the item name, but for all intents and purposes, it's limited like my spaceship. Literally, I got this thing years and years and years ago. Like I've had this probably since spaceships were released, probably six, seven years now. And it's decayed, what, three PEDs? Okay, so by the time I die, I might need another quad wing. Or if I'm flying a lot, maybe I do need another quad wing every year. But an unlimited quad wing isn't something I'm going to pay a ton for because it doesn't make sense, right? I wouldn't pay more than 10 times the price. But if you're going through something every month, maybe now you're paying 1,000 times the price or 100 times the price. That's just, you've got to always think about this. And these rings are hugely speculative. If you want to play it safe, you can get the L rings. Those are a little bit less. If you want to make sure that you've got a ring and no matter what Mind Arc does as far as decay, you can always use it. You might want to go with the unlimited. Either way, there's scenarios where both the price on either one of them could shoot up and there's scenarios where it could shoot down. And again, you've just got to remember these L rings, like right now, they are the best sort of bang for your buck, right? You're getting such a huge advantage to them, but any version update, any new update that Mindar makes could change it all completely. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that explains it to you guys. It's just like a percent modifier on things. So you put it on, and now you can run faster. You can do this faster. You see your buff right down here. You can see uh, increased run spread. There you go. Um, you can see the buff. So, yeah, that's sort of... Uh, that's sort of it. Hopefully I covered everything for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, anything like that, please feel free to leave them down below. I'm not the most experienced when it comes to rings. I've literally just been looking into this for like a week or two. And they, they look like amazing things. I'm probably going to buy one more just to keep it on and, you know, sort of make my avatar just a little bit better. Uh, anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys can, I'd really appreciate a like or a comment or subscription or all three but uh yeah until next time peace